Hey guys, welcome back to Africa Tech Radio, where your number one Africa's technology radio. Yes, we brag differently because we bring you all of the information happening around the tech ecosystem and of course around the block. If you're like me, whenever I receive my bank balance, I'm always thinking, these numbers, how can I flip it? And today on the show, guys, we're going to be talking how you can earn cool money without stress. It's all about minimum effort and maximum earning and all thanks to, the, uh, to technology i mean so with technology guys you can actually accelerate your financial capability and your earning potentiality meaning that you can earn cool cash and i have guys in the studio who are going to be teaching us how we can do that because around the block is the gist that nft is the new money thing so i have temisan in the studio temisan is an nft enthusiast and also Jacob Le, who is also an influencer, influence anything that concerns online money. Jacob Le is your guy. So, guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, please, how many streams of incomes do you guys have? Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, um, depends. <laughs> I would say, let's say two. Two? Yeah. NFT is major. Major, yeah. What about you, Jacob Le? Mm, NFT is crypto, a trade, or as a um, app. Projects. I I know we we can talk all about all of this how we earn money guys, but first you have to take us through the basic because I can be here excited about what I heard around the blogs and you guys who just speak 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 and I don't know anything. Mm. Before we dive into it, there are two things I would want you guys to break down for me. First is blockchain and second is NFT. Blockchain is like a, a, a decentralized protocol. Mm -hmm. So I am, I don't want to be too technical about it. You understand? But it's like a a distributed nodes of network all around the world. So which means that um, at every point in time, different nodes at different places communicate to one another. So basically, that whole blockchain is a decentralized computer system. It's not like there's a computer here, there's a computer in Norway, the computer in Switzerland, and they all communicate to each other, which makes it. So one information is spread across and different systems. And they are public systems. information. Public. They are, not, they are not hidden. Everything is accessible. Like if you're in Nigeria, if you're in Switzerland, if you're in Ghana, it's the same thing. I'm still, I can see what you are doing on the blockchain oh. in, in America. So, so it's, like it's like open. It's not hidden. Open, open, yeah. yeah. So everybody sees where the original content yeah. And nobody is can coming. lie to you about anything because it's all on the blockchain that is open. I like it though. You know how some people steal your tweet and they'll yeah, be like, they're the that one that like posted all. They'll yeah, take exactly. your videos on Instagram that and just... Happen, exactly. That's really good. So um, let's talk about NFT because this also applies to the blockchain system, right? Mm, yes, yeah. And um, so what is NFT based, first of all? All right, um, so NFT is just like an abbreviation for non-fungible token. So it's, it's like the short form for non fungible So why, why, why do we call it non-fungible token? So fungibility is like a like an economics word. Yes. That means replaceable. Exactly, like, yes. It can be replaced. So when it becomes non-fungible, it cannot, cannot be replaced. Yeah, yeah, I go to school. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So it can be replaced. Yes, mm -hmm. and unlike normal typical cryptocurrencies, and like you said, NFT is like an extension of the normal crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum that we all know about. You the difference is just that in NFTs, there's like full ownership. That if you have one NFT, you have one NFT. In crypto, regularly, you can buy 0 0.002 Bitcoin, you can buy 0 0.001 Ethereum, you can buy but in like NFTs. Whatever you own is yours, is one is yours. You can have two, you can have, but whatever it is that you own is yours. You can't divide it, you can't share it. It is yours. So, what are these things that are being owned? What are the type of things that qualify as an NFT? Everything you can own in the real world can be owned on the blockchain. Just like this like Yeah, you can, whatever you can own in the real world, translate it to the blockchain. I say, I own this, you prove it on the blockchain, and everything is, they can just. People say, I can I just take a screenshot of your NFT and tell you, man. Yes, you can. But show me a proof. Show me the blockchain link. Oh. That you, that you own it. The originator. Before I, before I can say that I want to buy it from you. So just to, to buttress um, mm -hmm. this point, 
So um, yes, currently the current use case of NFT is the digital item yeah. to sell stuff. That is why most people use pictures, there's artworks, it's like the there's music. Stuff. I've bought exactly. NFT albums before from Tory Lanez. Yeah. Like, but does that make you now the owner of the album? Yes. It makes you it like make, the owner. It made a thousand, it made a, a lot of copies. One million copies, yeah, copies of the album. So whatever album you buy is yours and you can send it to anybody. Yeah. I'm curious as to how much did it worth to secure an album on NFT? I bought it like $10. So I wasn't, mm -hmm. I bought it because I wanted to. Supporting his music. He didn't support his music. Uh, I didn't care about the word. <laughs> so um, I was going through, I was going through my phone and trying to check because I always want to know how to flip my money. Like I said, and I mm. could see some things being sold at some really ridiculous prices. I remember seeing a tweet, the first tweet, the first official tweet, guys, uh, from Jack Dorsey was sold for over close about to two million. three, three million. Mi two point nine is almost three million dollars. And if you convert that scenario, looking at billions, mm -hmm. if not even trillions of there. Okay. So I'm just thinking, what's the highest that someone can sell their NFTs for? Um, okay, so um, that's like the very good question. But uh, the the price of an NFT is like subjective to mm -hmm. the value people put on the NFT. Now, how do what what's the what's the value that you can you can attach a value to a particular NFT in different ways? Sometimes mm -hmm. social perception. You understand? Like you said, he bought Tori Lane. Uh, the support is music. music. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tori Lane is a is a, is a support, celebrity. Yeah. You understand? So to some extent, he has that social proof. So whatever is coming from him, of course, we will be trying that in particular mm -hmm. amount. Mm -hmm. But definitely there are like some basic projects like Nicola and I can we can sit in the comfort of our room and say, Oh, want to release an NFT project. You understand? Want to release mm -hmm. an NFT. Now, why will you Nicola and I release mm -hmm. an NFT mm -hmm. and you pay two million dollars for it? You understand? It has to be tied to a particular utility that is that the market actually deem it fit to be worth that price. You understand? So let me like give you like a very simple example of how I break it down to people. Mm -hmm. You understand? We all use Instagram, right? Are you verified on ID? I never get the number. <laughs> Are you verified on ID? Yeah. Exactly. But so, I wish to. Exactly. So let's say um, Instagram, when they released the, the Instagram app, there were only 10,000 verification items. Mm -hmm. Like only 10,000 people. That could be verified. verified. You understand? So those 10,000 verification were released as NFTs. You understand? So let's say at the inception, I maybe I was lucky enough to mint. Let's say Instagram actually sold it at let's say three hundred. Wait, wait, wait! I'll, I'll cut you there because I know that some people paid to actually get the the blue tick. Yeah, it's and an yeah because I I'm just in my head thinking that is it for free? Because of, most people believe it's for free. Instead of paying to do it. You buy the NFT instead. I'll just try they can buy the NFT for the blue tick. Like an example, like oh okay, yeah, like, ah, my <laughs> So Instagram, like the verification. Yeah. Let's say we actually released it as NFTs, like mm -hmm. digital. Of course, it's digital because at the end of the day, we are all on the internet. Yeah. You understand? So they release the verification as NFTs. So let's say by luck, maybe we're able to like purchase the earliest version of it because they release those ten thousand into the market, and mm -hmm. I bought like hundred dollars of it. Yeah. Then Instagram started growing in popularity. You understand? Mm -hmm. If I'm to sell it to the next person, let's say maybe a David Do wants to buy the verification. David Do actually bought his username. His his username. David Do username. Exactly. From somebody. I'm not going to sell it to David Do at $100 that I bought it. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell it to David Do at a much higher, higher price. I'm going to sell it like maybe $1,500. You understand? So let's say David Do also like uses the verification for like five years and he'll like, then also discard this. I want to sell it to somebody on the upper echo you like maybe Beyonce or something. You get then you can sell it like five million dollars. So that's like how the value of NFT. They're like, only worth as much as people are willing to yes. pay for it. So it's based on so many external validations whereby okay, what is this thing used for? You understand? So let's say I have Ikoi Club. You mm -hmm. understand? They are releasing their let's say the Ikoi Polo Club, they are releasing their membership as an NFT. Mm -hmm. You understand? Automatically, I know, oh, this is what I'm mm -hmm. going to get mm -hmm. in the Koi Club. You understand? So, if I'm paying five million naira for a Koi membership, which I is limited, that, you understand? I know that, yes, this is the value I'm getting. So, mm -hmm. you, if somebody now tells me, oh, you want to sell their Koi membership club for me at 10 million, I'm going to quantify that. Okay, one year, 10 million, is it worth it? Of course, it is because of the 
like a numerous network. So mm-hmm. it's to some extent, it's not just what I'm willing to pay, but what I tend to like derive from the value of holding that particular NFT. Um, I'm yeah. just trying to process what you're saying because really, um, NFT dummy and I have no shame about it. So I'm just thinking, what makes an NFT, like, what would make me think that this NFT token, or I'm saying token NFT, yeah. what would make this token, like, worth my money or what's my the attention? The utility that you think it can give to you. Yeah. So what I can gain from, from it. owning this. Some people, some people don't, don't want, don't just want to buy it for fun of it. They want to buy it to brag. Like the person that bought the first tweet from Jack. Mm-hmm. There's no utility in his body. He wants to put, for the fun of it, I have money and I can buy this thing. And it's I mine. think uh, there was one NBA um, top shot that was also sold. I think the person brought that, uh, bought that just to brag because mm. I think it's LeBron James, so one of those top mm. superstars. And he just bought the clip where he was making like a top just shot. Just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. But if he wants to sell it, you can still sell it, right? So what that, as much as someone else is willing to pay for it? You can bid for it. You can just the same way there's auction, there's other things in the traditional just to non-digital break it market. In like the simplest purpose, mm. like you said, you're like um, NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like NFTs generally are like artworks, digital yeah, artworks. Digital, you understand? Like, like why is the Mona Lisa the most expensive, expensive mm. artwork in the world? You understand? Because it has like a particular story. Thing mm. attached to it. How oh, is he making it? You understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we take a picture of, so you, if you could record, there is a picture of a particular guy, of um who, who, who took a picture of a particular man that was like yes, the NYSC guy. Yeah, I remember, yeah, 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 yeah. and he had so some for, monies exactly. that it was yeah. And I think he sold that as at like one point four million. million no. Why was it worth it? It's just a picture of somebody. You but why was it worth it? Exactly. Someone was willing to pay the amount for it. And why was the person willing to pay the yeah. amount? Because he tied the story to it. Yes, he tied the particular story. Just like the Mona, why the Mona Lisa, the Mona Lisa journey like extends to when um, they had to move it, it was stolen. The, mm. You understand? So he tied a very good story to it. That oh, a story of struggle, a story of NYSC. And of course, I'm pretty sure the person that bought it probably might not be able to sell it at that value in game. But because of at the original. Um, creation of that NFT mm-hmm. there was a very good story too. If that guy particularly goes on to maybe continue telling the story mm-hmm. as an artist that he is, you understand? The value of every of his work is it is he continued. You understand? So like let's say Picasso. Picasso drew like a painting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Picasso's painting is probably worth like five dollars. But because he kept on like he became a very valuable artist. Picasso's two thousand work you probably worth something around five million dollars. So that is our value like So yeah. for a normal person who is not Picasso, who cannot draw Mona Lisa, mm. what can they do exactly to be able to sell that, their that's the power as NFT? That's the power NFT gives you. In the real world, you know a Picasso, you know these people, yeah. but in the digital world, you don't need to know me, you don't need to know who I am. It's all about my work at this the point. The quality of your work. So if my work gives you a storyline you can relate to, if it gives you a value, utility, if I say I'm making this artwork and this artwork, I'm, I'm going to put them in the game and you can play these games on the PS5 mm-hmm. or you can play this game on something, something, something. People that are interested, gamers, we want it. They don't, they don't care to know who I am. They don't need to know me. Do you understand? That's the difference between the real world and the digital world. So I'm just thinking because now you mentioned gamers. So different type of people. Let's put this into, are there categories of NFTs? Mm, yes, yeah. yes. There are, like you said, NFTs are just digital items. Like, and what is digital? There's social media, there's music, there is art, there is gaming. There's gaming. Mm-hmm. Like anything digital. You get, like, we already like living in the digital world. You mm-hmm. have an extension of your personal issue. So whatever is digital can be, can be termed as NFT. You just have to, like, migrate it to the blockchain. Mm-hmm. You understand? To make it, like, verify that you are actually the real owner of this particular so yeah, back to your question of can anybody make money if you are not a Picasso? Of course, mm-hmm. there are so many artists, like random guys who are very good and I like personally like their work. Mm-hmm. You understand? In a way to support them, I just you also drop ten dollars. Yes, mm-hmm. let's say every ten dollars, ten dollars in ten thousand places. You know more that one. You understand? So like, there is a particular guy, on, uh, yeah, Corporal Neutron on, on Twitter. Like, I just like his work because mm-hmm. it's good. 
whether the guy goes on to be a Picasso or not, you understand, but as at this current state, is what is very valuable to me and is valuable to about 10,000 of us. You know, like, no matter what you do, there's always a niche market of people who are willing to pay a particular price for it. And that's what it is. I mean, when you hear all this online money, your body is just going to be doing like, yeah. I can't wait to start investing. I can't wait to just start earning yeah. this money that you guys are talking uh-huh. about. So if, I, if me that don't know anything about blockchain, crypto money, mm-hmm. NFTs, how do I start investing you into make, NFTs? You usually, personally, I don't tell, I tell people that you don't need to see it like an investment. Mm-hmm. I think whatever you do without NFT, I think you should just bring your skill, bring your the passion, bring your passion, bring what you think is valuable to you in the real world, bring into the NFT space. So, and, and if you want to, if you have money to acquire other people's own, you can make research about them. Who is this person? Let me see his work, his old past work. Let me see his past things I've done. If they say, they, okay, they're making a game, have you made a game before? Let me see their old game. If they say they are making artworks, have they made artworks before? Let me see their old Let me see the value of what they've done before in the past. Same way you read things in the real life. Mm-hmm. Same way if I meet you or, or if I if I try to sell a book to you, mm-hmm. you'll be like, have I read this book myself? Has this book changed my own life that I'm selling to you? Same way it's kind of interpreted to it in the digital world. That's exactly so, how it and is. And I'm just thinking how I can get all this research. Is this still on the blockchain? There are tools on blockchain. There are mm-hmm. tools that you pay for that help you do automatic research. What type of tool? There are tools that tell you the price of things, the value. Let's say the six, over the past six months value of it. Mm-hmm. They will tell you how active people are treating, the volume of people. Okay, let me tell you about volume, yeah? Okay. If you see a project that you like, mm-hmm. and then you're like, okay, Cannot be my, okay, let's say my money in this as investing. Let's say you want this as an investment. People that have invested in this thing, are they able to make money? Are they able to exit their investment? Yeah. So you see the details, you see the record, you say, okay, people are seeing leaving at five minutes ago, two minutes ago, six minutes ago, people are leaving, exiting their no, Does okay, that okay. decrease the value? No, that shows you that, okay, even if you want to leave, you can see people that are evidently leaving this thing six minutes ago. To, that means, but if I've seen, let's say, three months ago, for the last time somebody that means they've sold. not been able to that sell that means they've not been active for yeah. the past three months that means you know if you're investing in this thing you're probably going to hold it for at least three months before you see your value oh. do you understand so it's all about you have to be in it to get all these things I'm saying of course these days internet has made everything very easy we can just sit down here and I'm talking to you guys and you guys your money is increasing wherever your NFTs are it might be decreasing too it might <laughs> be de- actually <laughs> How does that make you guys feel when it's decreasing? Do you have panic attack? Uh, I think that's on, basically yeah. investors. That's all you no anxiety. Or, no. Uh, that, that's how you become like a very good investor. Trigger. By losing your money. No, you have to be yes. emotionally yes. detached from what you're doing. For my money. Yes. Emotionally detached from my money. You're buying. You're buying <laughs> artwork. <laughs> Why do you want your artwork to increase your money? Just imagine if, if your money is wherever you put your money, you're always looking for increase. And except you're not, if then you, you're going if you to see charity. an increase, you're happy. No, but if you don't see an increase, you are buying. But, but does it devalue my money? Like every investment. Like, every investment. like it's, it's very good to be transparent. And it's mm. very good that we let people who are trying to, oh, yeah, <laughs> two million dollars. Just like everyone else. Because that's the excitement for <laughs> exactly. me. I mean, if I see that Dekule is putting up a post and I know, ah, Dekule, you just made this amount. So it's not me looking to come and say, bro, cut yeah. for me your money. I, I want to know how to fish. Teach me these oh, NFT you, things. You, you, your nets, you your fishing net will drown in the sea. Ooh. And ah. I want to get. Like, you actually have to so learn. So I have to like, remove my emotions from the investment and just mm-hmm. let it Exactly. Because there will always be upside down, you understand? But like, of course, that's limited upside. Like mm-hmm. your side is is great, so you can put your hundred dollars today and wake mm-hmm. up tomorrow to two thousand dollars. But it does not mean that it will eventually like stay at that place. You understand? There are like certain economic factors that that's just true. like every investment, you understand. But of course, not to discourage you, you can you can come and, and and see for yourself. So are there particular like you know? Yeah, certain work like a programmer or a software um, coder and all of that stuff. You have to have like a laptop. You have to have yeah. certain instruments. Yeah. Are there instruments out there? Laptop and internet or phone. And phone. Yes. I mean, speaking of phone, I recently came across some information that Infinix now have like an access pass to becoming an NFT trader or player. 
You know when people launch like phones, especially they look at cameras, specification, and all of that. And one new thing that made me to feel like this conversation I need to talk about it is NFT. And Infinix launch party had a session where they introduced people that once you get the phone, then you can actually be an NFT player or trader. Mm-hmm. So, and I can see uh, Decole has like the Infinix phone. Did the, I got the Infinix phone, the mm-hmm. Ultra, the Zero, it's been the Zero Ultra. And then from the part, when you unbox and you open the phone, mm-hmm. you see the NFT car. The NFT car like gives you access, like eligibility to the raffle to get NFTs. And what I like the NFTs of the Infinix phone is that the general collection is thin around space, space. Mm-hmm. But it has different characters. Uh, everything all relates to the phone, like perfectly. So you don't have to think of the utility or think of everything relates to the phone and it's perfect. Because like there's the first one, that one is the flash character. Mm. That one relates to the 180 watt charge, fast charging, thunder charging attached to the phone. If you plug this phone, zero, it goes 0 to 100. In how many minutes? 12 minutes. That's, that's exactly incredible. 20. I don't think any phone charges it. I've, I've never seen. Mine, either. I have to sit for like 30 minutes plus. At least, yeah. I think too. that's good. And then there's a mirror. Mirror character that one talks about the 3D water water for display. That talking about the top notch of the phone, yeah. It moves, it drops. Yeah, it looks like a drop, but it doesn't. It, doesn't okay. but it looks like it does. Yeah. And then there's the the white star character. That one talks about the speed of the phone the processor. It has a six nanometer plus five G processor. Mm. This phone. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, everybody actually, is with their phone these days and if you're trading, blockchain, all those things are every file. So yeah. the and speed of your phone the, matters. There's the chick character that only like talks about it being stylish. Being it does look stylish. The camera looks big and interesting. Yeah, I mean if you want that's, to snap, I feel like you're more like, professional. If, yeah. If I, I can check the phone for you, everything is like seems Look at the back. When you touch this, it feels like yeah, looking, everything sick. reflects, and then it's just perfect. Yeah, just it's perfect. perfect. So how does this all all of this specification? How does that take us to being an NFT uh, player or trader when it comes to using an Infinix phone? You know, the value of NFTs, as mm-hmm. like we said earlier, is attached to the value people are willing to get it. So for you to get this NFT, you have to have the Infinix phone. Mm-hmm. You have to get the Infinix Zero Ultra. Brand new. If you got, if you, if you, you don't buy a second, <laughs> you do not qualify. Yeah, so they will not give you charger and you have peace. Yeah, that's it. Also, the the last um, the last character relating to the space thing. The last character is the one of the camera. Mm-hmm. That's vision, vision character. Talking about the two hundred megapixel camera, two hundred epic camera. The camera is very clean and then. So I'll fit out my destiny. Uh, it's like, make you shiny. Make you good. So that's why it yeah. is two hundred MP. So that one relates to the. Character. So everything about the all the characters in the NFT, mm-hmm. they are all space themed with different characters. The same thing we said about NFTs earlier, different value, different different characters in the collection, different different things people but some people are I know, I know it's, an, it's a raffle, it's an NFT mm-hmm. card. So if you get you can get the one that relates to the camera, the vision, mm-hmm. you can get the one that relates to charging, the flash, the one that relates to the processor, that's the white star. You can get the one that you like the five, the O five, the chick, the styling one, and you can get any of the five five characters basically. I'm just thinking about how this is like one of the first yeah. around the block when you talk about phones. I mean, now your phone is giving you access to now earn money. When you buy your phones, you just go with your problem, go and be charging <laughs> and whatever you do with your phone is your business. But right now, Infinix is like you buy this phone and we are still involved in your life because we want your life to be better after buying it. So I'm just thinking thinking of NFT and still wondering, are there things that we cannot sell when it comes to NFT that cannot be traded oh, on the platform? Of course, like you like you just mentioned, anything digital basically can be traded as NFT, you understand. And of course, this is like a wonderful innovation from Infinix. If they are like, I'm think, I'm think they are probably among the first people to like bring about phone and NFT as um, a particular innovation. So yeah, um, it's very good one. Trust me, and I'm pretty sure like a lot of NFT folks like me, you get and they play, they are definitely going to transition to it's start using Infinix. You get because of it, like gives us a better feel. You say, you say, you know, earlier you made an example about Mister. Mm. The so verification. When, yeah, you better understand. So like when and this one is not an example, this one is not is real. Exactly. The Infinix yeah. is not an example, it's real. So when big brands, big 
companies like these mm. introduce NFTs to, to their products, to mm-hmm. their services. So I think it gives a more a wide worldwide adoption of the web three space and web three exactly. marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, 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 it brings Infinix to a much wider audience and it brings the much wider audience Absolutely. who are like exposed to the Infinix brand to the NFT ecosystem and the blockchain generally. Yes. So it's a win win for everybody. For yes. So is it just this phone that gives you the card or yeah, other it's, phone? it's exclusive to the Infinix Zero Ultra. Okay. So if you want to be a part of it Come want to be an NFT club. trader. Come and join the club. When you want to start an NFT, come and join the club. I mean, I want to earn money. I want to flip my coins. I want to be looking at. I, you're wearing a Mona Lisa. I'm just. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> I just noticed. So um, I'm just thinking another thing on my mind because I have to think this thing through. It's not something I'll just say, okay, I just want to start. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm sure people watching are also thinking the same. Are there places maybe you are in the world? Internet now, everybody can actually see this video from any part of the world and think, okay, let me just start trading. Are there places where NFT trade are allowed and places where they are not allowed? I think they're, they're allowed in every way. It just depends on the different regulations. Yeah. They're allowed, but some people take Two percent tax to government. Some we say some government don't care. Some government you get so, so every, it's allowed everywhere. So it just depends on the. It's a global innovation, so, so it's like widely adopted. You understand? But of course, there are like certain countries with different regulations and compliances. You understand? US have specific regulations. Barbados came around, so you understand. But generally, it's widely mm-hmm. like traded everywhere. So, guys, as a beginner like me maybe you just want to start trading nft i think this is an opportunity wherever you're in the world you can get an infinix phone and that gives you like the card and the access so you don't start looking for mm, which content go sell or exactly. which content or what do i that's so right. that's like it has already given you um, a substance yeah. or a material that you can actually put on the blockchain and start actually, trading you your, i think they should get it because if a big brand like infinix with so much global reach and wider audience comes into NFT. You can imagine the amount of people they are bringing to that particular NFT collection. Adoption. So trust me, in no time, that particular NFT attached to this particular Infinix phone mm-hmm. will be like skyrocketing. So yeah, this is like the very earliest time you can be lucky to get one. So yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, this football, all I know is NFT makes money. And of course, if you want to make more money, buy a phone that cares about your financial status and gives you an opportunity to increase your money and if you like the nfts and you've been wondering how you can get a material to put on the chain i think this is a good one you buy you participate in the raffles and of course you could be the winner and voila you could sell your own nft for millions or billions and have someone very like high and be interested in your nft guys it's um it's a good conversation but we cannot keep you here for too long i mean uh but before you bounce out of the studio i'd like to find out what's the highest you earn when it comes to nft trading mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry nobody will come out with uh, uh, okay just i'll probably disclose it in cryptocurrencies so okay I think that's more discreet yeah mm-hmm. but uh, i don't know it's objective like different maybe five years ten years here and there you understand if you get it, you get it <laughs> exactly. in crypto. What about you? Crypto earnings on NFT? I mean, he just puts his own no, no, in crypto. You can put your percentage. I mean, you probably want 100,000 percent. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. So these are the crypto guys. Um, social media handle where people can actually check up to follow. Aside, and if you need more information, follow Infinix, and you can ask them questions. Thank you so much for your time. I mean, this conversation has been very insightful and educative. Um, That's the end of the show for today. We'll bring you more information. But first of all, hold up, hold up, hold up. You have to follow us, subscribe. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Africa Tech Radio on um, all social media platforms. You can, of course, check out new stuff and good stuff like this. If you like quality content, we are your go to www.africatechradio.com. Until I come your way next time, it's peace, love, and bye bye. <laughs>